Gamers, good morning. It is 5 a.m. where I'm at in California right now, and the 2.7 Genshin Impact live stream is about to start. And unfortunately, I gotta do my reactions like this. I can't exactly stream and get hype and get excited, or I'm gonna get evicted from my apartment uh, yelling and screaming at 5 a.m. So, homies, I am going to break down and give you guys a condensed version of the entire patch in this video. Of course, you guys should go watch the trailer to get hype and all that jazz, but I'm just gonna let you guys know all the most important stuff and break down any thoughts we might have about the character banners, the events, anything like that. Let's get into it. So, for the banners, in 2.7, we've got Yay! Lon, that's how you pronounce her name after the trailer and uh, so she's gonna be going at the same time as Shao and then in the later half of the patch we're going to have Ito and Kuki Shinobu will be on Ito's banner unfortunately I wish Shinobu was on Ye Lon's banner because I already have Ito but yada 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 so a bit unfortunate Shao getting the rerun I feel like he was just here with Shen He Klee Yoimiya and Kazuha all getting absolutely shafted. So I would definitely expect them to be coming next patch. If uh, Heizo, the new character, is a four star, it seems like we might have Yoimiya Klee ran at the same time and then Kazuha and uh, Heizo because he's another Animo. Maybe he synergizes with Kazuha. Who knows? So that might be what's happening in 2.8 or 3.0, whatever the next patch is. But yeah, these are the banners that we are dealing with for the new patch. Unfortunately, we don't know any of the four stars officially right now, except Kuki Shinobu. This is Elon's five-star weapon. It looks pretty cool, but honestly, they didn't tell us anything about it. So unfortunately, I can't give you guys any information on what it does. I'm sure we'll get something on the official Genshin Impact Twitter in the near future. So Elon is looking to be like a really cool and unique character. Her skill is going to put her into this kind of like ghost swift invisible stance and then every opponent that she walks through will get marked when she comes out they blow up and she does a bunch of hydro damage and then depending on how many people she touches with her skill it might even reset her skills cooldown so that she can like then do it again and then there's a thing where like however long she's off field uh if she's out of combat for a long time excuse me she'll her next charge attack right there will like do a ton of damage and then her burst seems to be something similar to shing Cho, where it is off field hydro dps that does a coordinated attack when your character that's out there does a normal attack as well as it said it'll do a coordinated attack whenever she uses her skill just like this so it seems like she's going to be doing a ton of hydro damage she's going to be applying a ton of hydro which is great for reactions and then they even imply that she's going to be like scaling with hp to an extent uh one of her passives will raise her maximum hp depending on uh what elements you have in the party and so i'm gonna assume that she does that her damage is also going to scale with hp which could be cool i mean characters like that are nice where you know we can take advantage of some of these lesser popular artifacts that we have on our account that might have gotten sick hp rolls but not as much uh, good stuff like that so yeah yolan looks really cool and her playstyle seems very very different which is nice i mean it's always fun to have characters that are a lot more different than others and you know make us play the game differently so i'm looking forward to her as for kuki shinobu she looks great i mean you got to see her without the mask i thought she was just gonna wear the mask at all times but anyway honestly they didn't give as much information as i'd like about her kit and stuff but it seems like her skill she sacrifices a portion of her hp to then do off field damage and heal the character out in battle uh and then you know she switches out so it kind of seems like she only loses her health once so i don't think she's going to use the new artifact set because that wants you to continuously lose hp uh the brand new artifact set in the chasm so it seems like she's not going to use that but so some off field electro application and healing she is a sword user if i didn't already say that and here is her burst and yeah they said it's just like a damage dealing burst uh does damage to people in front of her right and then they also said that her healing will or her damage and healing will scale with elemental mastery so I hope it's not too much split scaling. We've seen some split scaling not be too amazing for characters in the past, such as like Zinyan with defense and attack and stuff like that. So she does look pretty cool. I hope that she can still do a ton of damage because she does look really sick, but she's the first electro healer that we've got in Genshin Impact. And honestly, she looks great. I mean, I'm gonna make her work no matter what. 
Next up, we are going to be getting another Archon quest. And it looks like I love this little like ragtag band of bandit, like this funny cast of characters. Honestly, they don't really seem like they work out too well. Yan Fei and Ito and then Xiao's thrown in there. I never thought I'd see these characters together, but I honestly love the events with tons of different characters that are playable. You know, I don't really care that much about the NPCs, right? So another Archon quest though, like we, it's been a while since we've gotten patches where there are back to back Archon quests. We've had a few slow patches. So honestly, I really do like the Archon quest. I love uh, thinking about the lore and like, you know, theory crafting these fun, crazy stuff, but uh, definitely looking forward to that. We got another Archon quest coming. First up for events, we've got a big like combat based event. It kind of seems like a, roguelike thing where you try to beat the you know amount of chambers that they've given you and then you're gonna randomly like lose a character or like lose two of your characters randomly out of your four and then you have to beat it with the two that you have but you can like choose to get these boosts and stuff like that like uh boost to your characters and effects and stuff like that so honestly uh looks all right i hope that it is uh, a lot of fun to play kind of like vibro crystal was pretty fun for a while but uh yeah it looks like we're gonna get a crown of insight which is always really important to get on our accounts but uh this seems to be the main combat event of the patch we're also going to be getting a limited weapon the fading twilight it seems to be a bow and uh yeah these weapons have been pretty darn good in the past like festering desire i think was the first one we ever got dodoko tails these weapons go away forever we've never seen them come back so i think it's important for us to take place in the event because it might be an amazing bow down the line but uh yeah this is going to be the only time we can get this bow so let's make sure to get it next up is another chasm event where we're going to be like beating up these strong monsters that are like infected by the you know muddy gooey purple gross stuff that we see in the chasm and uh, they're just gonna be like super powerful we're gonna be like defending like a little ley line thing stopping them from attacking it whatever but it just seems like another little you know filler combat event grab some primos grab some rewards and uh, hang out in the chasm even more and next we've got a rhythm game now i love rhythm games but the rhythm games in genshin in the past have been a little wonky the timing seems off i don't know gotcha game rhythm game uh little bonus events have always been kind of you know poor in my opinion but i'm gonna be honest this one looks a lot better they're just gonna show some gameplay right now but um near the end they actually showed that you can one make your own songs and upload them if you can beat it you know which is a great way to you know make it so they don't troll everybody but so you can make your own songs which is really cool uh not make your own songs but you can change the notes of the songs that they have so you can make it as hard or as easy or as different as you want which sounds like a lot of fun and then they also made it so you can calibrate the lag on your device which has always been pretty darn annoying to deal with where you could never change it and if it was bad if your ping was bad the rhythm game was just straight up bad so two positive changes to hopefully make this rhythm game a lot more fun next we've got this like weird robot making event i don't know if they did do the best job at explaining it but it seems like we just go around get some random materials and then we can build these robots it's like we can customize them and then maybe we can get like recipes from other players if we can't make the certain robot we want to make and we can like customize what they look like i don't really get it but hopefully it's very fun i mean this guy's creepy he looks like that weird like pervert guy from xenoblade 2 or whatever but okay anyway uh yeah so i don't know what's going on with these robots but hopefully it's lit i hope it's fun and then at the end they said they were going to be making all these like changes it seems like it's very beginner friendly stuff like giving you more information on what you should be bringing into domains for example uh, this one is like helping you figure out what talents like it gives talent level up recommendations for characters stuff like that uh, honestly nothing too crazy or exciting I am definitely looking forward to the patch notes though where hopefully they're gonna give us like um, a lot of you know these positive changes we've always wanted to see and get to maybe artifact loadouts constellation toggling I know it's copium but um, yeah very beginner friendly changes from what they showed but hopefully we can see some more in some patch notes so that'll wrap up my 2.7 little condensed video for you guys uh it seems like a pretty standard patch with lots of little events but it seems like we're getting you know the big archon quest which is going to be great two brand new characters we're getting a four star event bow honestly it does seem like an above average 
patch, but nothing too groundbreaking. Uh, I'm going to be streaming the patch all the time, though. I'm going to be hopefully getting Yolanda on one of my two accounts, grabbing Kuki Shinobu as well. So, lads, please do check out the stream. I'm streaming Genshin Impact all the time, trying to make the most fun, you know, Genshin Impact community and streams that I possibly can. And thank you guys so much for watching the YouTube, dudes. Please drop a like on this video. It goes a very large way. Drop a comment down below what you're looking forward to in the patch. I always respond to the comments. I love to read them all. So much love, guys. I appreciate you guys. And shout out to the patrons, Steven uh, Gomez VTC, Poison Tongue Boy, and Zick, and everybody else on Patreon. Thank you guys so much once again. And I'll see you guys later. Come check out the stream. Peace.